The following contest is a last woman standing match. Making her way to the ring from Yamaguchi, Japan. One half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Kyrie Sane! Carrying the title in a treasure chest. You think Buddy Rogers or Bruno San Martino would ever do something like that? Well, they didn't have a treasure chest, did they, Corey? Byron, do you think the champ's mindset would be any different if the title was on the line here tonight? I really don't, Michael. You have to remember, she'll take any opportunity she has to prove her greatness, regardless of whether the title's on the line or not. of tomorrow and from Osaka Japan one half of the women's tag team champions Asuka look I know that supposedly no one was ready for Asuka but it's been over a year since Asuka's undefeated streak came to an end at WrestleMania, so I think it's now more than okay to say that, yeah, some people are ready for Asuka. Sure, Corey, uh, would you like to say that to Asuka? Absolutely not, Saxton. Are you insane? I think she might have just heard you, Corey. What? No, that wasn't me. That was Byron doing a me impression. Well, hopefully Asuka will keep that in mind for later. You win this match when you incapacitate your opponent so they cannot make it to their feet by a count of 10. That's right, no pinfalls, no submissions, no count outs or disqualifications, meaning anything goes. Superstars collide in this type of match when they can't get past their personal differences, when all other avenues have not produced an end result. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power. Reverses, can she take advantage? Wow. German suplex! Oh, solid contact there. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Probably see a double after that one. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. And look at the quickness by Sane. Beautiful drop kick. Oh, Kyrie Sane with a little power display. Wow! Alabama slam? That will get your attention. There it is. Boom. Nice. A vast. She Kyrie got all that one. Yeah, something lit a fire under her, and she is going strong. Asuka looking uneasy now. She can withstand the punishment, though. 
It only took Asuka a matter of six months to become the number one contender to Bayley's NXT Women's Championship. Now, Bayley had no intention of leaving Dallas without her most prized possession. She always wanted to prevail, not just for her, but for every little girl in the crowd, watching with tears in their eyes, hoping she wasn't going to lose that title. But then she met Asuka. Boo-hoo. Forearm to the <laughs> face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Chop. And again, yet another counter. She's showing signs of slowing now. She needs to turn the tide here. When you two brought up Asuka's championship match, I noticed Saxton fanboying a little bit. Look, Bayley could be the most beloved superstar in NXT history, but Asuka didn't care. You didn't find sympathy from Asuka when she made Bayley pass out in the middle of the ring. It was a shocking win, but upon reflection, if Bayley set the standard for being an NXT champion, Asuka elevated it tenfold. Gets out of dodge there. She's tossed. She could airline miles for that. Oh, what a four. Effective arm drag. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. Not over yet. Asuka is trying to get in her opponent's head. German suplex! On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, which oftentimes results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Here comes the Pirate Princess with a forearm! This is the last man standing match, and the physical punishment has begun to take its toll. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. And this match is going to continue. Oscar with a kick to the midsection, and a steam. Now Oscar is showing how they do it back in Japan. Great women's action here in Six. WWE. Seven. We will go on. Such a dynamic maneuver from Sane. Kyrie Sane is so much fun to watch. Oh my God, shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. And look at the quickness by Sane. She returns the favor there. One, two, this three, is what WrestleMania is all about. Four, Passion, leaving your body and your heart five, and your soul in the ring. Oh, saw it coming. This match ain't over yet. Oh my gosh! The episode tomorrow! She can't possibly come back from that. This is Oscar's chance. 
Asuka had the crown eating out of the palm of her hand, but she's got to get refocused here. Take a look back at where the Pirate Princess lost the compass to this one. Some will say it's all over once Asuka's war mask came off. And so it goes. Here is your winner, Asuka! Wow, big win right there. It was a sinking ship tonight for Kyrie Sane, fellas, and the Pirate Princess was without a lifeboat. Now she's all the way down in Davy Jones' locker. I got a bunch of them. And what an incredible journey it has been to get to this.